Konnichiwa, hope everyone's good. I thought I'd come down and do a real quick video on some of the bushcraft gear I'm hopefully going to be using soon. Just because I want to do something a little more bushcrafty than just uploading ADC videos all the time. In fact, the next video I'm going to do, which will probably be tonight, is going to be an ADC update. But uh, anyway, I'll just get straight into the uh, bushcraft and camping kit. More of a camping kit, kit than a bushcraft kit, but whatever. So the bag I've already shown before, it's the Austrian Alice Pack, or Austrian Combat Pack, or Austrian Mountain Rescue Pack, whatever you want to call it. I've heard it being called three different names. And I've got that mounted on the uh, Swedish LK35 frame, and I did have the American uh, Alice Pack straps on that, but they're a little too short for that frame, so I've switched back to the LK35. And it's one of the most comfortable packs that I've got. But uh, that's the pack, I'll get into the contents now. So that's everything out of the bag. So this is new. It's a Savota sleeping pad. The FDP, sorry FDF, made in Finland. Haven't had a chance to use it yet. It's brand new. Well, I've had it over a week, but I just haven't had a chance. I'm going to be a. Uh, Doing a little garden camp with it to try it out if I've got time to go to the woods. Hopefully within the next week or two, maybe. I'm working like mad. Try and get back a lot of the money that I lost over the lockdown. But anyway, that's got nothing to do with anything. But as far as the sleeping bag goes, I got it from uh, Ray Mies. It was £55. I could have got it a bit less from Verstelecker, but... They sell it for 44 but I don't know. I've never bought anything from Verstelecka since we left the uh, that Brexit thing. So I know Verstelecka, the ship to, I think, Germany or France, and then it goes from France to here. So I don't know about shipping costs or anything, so I don't want to risk it. But uh, anyway, so far it seems really good. I saw one review guy said that the... Out of Pots Gore-Tex, it's actually not. It says on the thing, it's 100% polyamide. So the guy was a little bit wrong on what it's made out of. So that's a sleeping pad. Got a top to go over the uh, bivy. In case it rains. And over here, another thing that's new. It's a Dutch stainless steel mess kit. Doesn't have any real markings on it like the British one does. It's just got that. EC 1935, 2014. And the bigger one, sorry the smaller one. It's just got the exact same thing on it. And then Pathfinder water bowl hasn't leaked since I put the new cap on it, so I'm starting to trust it now. I do like the Dutch military one better. And with that, I really like the Bounders Voyage Titanium Canteen Cup. Goes together real nice. See it is. And in the pack I've also got I thought I had. Yeah. The uh Suspension cable, 
that goes with that. Then over here, standard EDC, Army Tech Elf C2 with the headband for it. And I've got some uh, number 36 bank line. And the stoves. If I'm not using the alcohol stove, then I'll use the uh, Robins wood burner stove. And I managed to get that fitting perfectly now, just filing it down on the Trangia. And the uh, titanium one as well. So happy about that. And then down here, fire kit. Got the EDC as well. Table flame ranger. And that's just a ferro rod. I would have the flint and steel kit in there, but I took it out and put it somewhere else. But I've just got a ferro rod. The, uh, the lighter and uh, the pocket bellows. And that's the Italian uh, Army sewing kit pouch and the little Altoids tin that fits the flint and steel kit with the chalk cloth and everything will fit in there as well. But like I said, I haven't got that on. Is and the Silky Gone Boy 210, which I might be changing to the Silky Pocket Boy. And uh, the tiny little super cute. Hulifer's mini hatchet which will either be this or the Japanese Nata I've had that lying around for a while so I want to start using it a little bit more and then TP and the only first aid kit that I've got with us is uh, the Israeli fuel dressing I've also got a bandana in my pocket and uh, a lot of band-aids in my wallet and that's my first aid kit and I got a bandana that I wrapped the Dutch uh, mess kit in stop it coming apart in the bag and then just some hygiene stuff not hygiene, dental stuff got uh, toothpicks and uh, Masoka travel toothbrush. So all you do with this is dip it in water, brush teeth, rinse out, and that's it. No need for toothpaste or anything, and it packs down real small. One thing I hate is having like dirty feeling teeth. There's just a regular toothbrush once you open it up. That's just the Masoka made in Japan. It comes in a nice little resealable heavy duty plastic bag. And finally, the Dutch military hooped bivy. And if I'm not using this, there's another two different shelters, or three. I want to try a cowboy style uh, bedroll. Obviously the top and hammock. Depending on what kind of camping I want to do. And I tell a lie, that's not all. Gym and uh, elephant skin ground sheet. Very heavy duty. And fits the Dutch bivy perfectly, so I'll put that underneath the bivy normally, and the sleeping bag would go inside. I know a lot of people stick, stick the sleeping bag outside. This does have a like a bit on the bottom that you can put your sleeping bag through, and then it's got bits on the bottom as well that hoop over it to stop it sliding off the bag. But I like to put the sleeping bag inside, not the well, obviously sleeping bag inside. I like to put the sleeping bag inside, it's just personal preference. Everybody has their own personal preference, and that one's mine. But uh, speaking of sleeping bags, uh, still the same as the last videos. I haven't got any real desire to buy any new sleeping bags. Ones I've got work perfectly fine. I've got the jungle, British Army jungle one, and the uh, one that I would mainly use at this time of year, which is the Coleman BAM USA. 
and uh, besides that I want to do a lot more wool blanket stuff as well so I'll stick a wool blanket in there try that out I've tried it in the Dutch regular bivy because I've got the regular one and the this hooped one I haven't tried the wool blanket in that this one yet but uh, we'll give it a go I just really like the wool blanket so anyway that's my bushcraft kit for this month anyway that's my bushcraft gear for this as it is now I was going to say for this month but probably will change anyway the bag I've got that many bags that bag's not going to be the main one that I use for well it's going to be the main one but it's not going to be the only one but uh, anyway that's my bushcraft bag, bushcraft bag, bushcraft kit. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. I'll stop rambling on.